Why my best razor? You can use my razor again? Why I want to use your razor, Leo? My razor suits me just to find. I'm just a saying. Can't find my razor. And you're the only other one here. So you're positive that guy was Canadian? I can't be sure. He didn't look Canadian. Eh, hey, bonjour, Amy. Jason, have a seat right here. So sorry, senora. We want to do the man's here. Leo? Eh, hey, Figaro. Look who's back. What do you know? Via piccola farfalla. How you been, Julia? You been eating my little bit What's the matter, you? She looks great. Que bella, no? Of course, she looks so wonderful, you mean, boss. I only mean she's look, a... Look, fellas, we came here to ask you about something. No problemo, bambino. What do you want to know? Hey, Pazan, I believe she's talking to me. I never said Maybe this was a bad idea. Are you sure these are the guys I need to talk to? Of course. Gentlemen, I need to know about a hairbrush. Samson's hairbrush. He's okay. <laughs> don't have to touch his hair. Because I don't need a... Remove his cap. Not a cap. It's a fedora. You just sit down and listen to Theo and me. La Spazola di Samson. The hairbrush of a Samson. She's not a trick to be trifled with. You know, maybe your girlfriend forget to tell you. Figaro and I are La Fratalanza de la Spazola, brotherhood of the hairbrush. For centuries, our papas and our papas papas have been the hairbrush. We can't fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, I can piece. Why are you want La Spazola de Samson? I need to find the hairbrush before the Canadians do. They plan to use its power to take over both sides of Niagara Falls. Mamma mia, no. Well, don't you worry, my friend. The hairbrush is somewhere safe where nobody, but nobody will ever, ever find it. Way down, 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 underneath the city, there are secret catacombs. Catacombs? I'm not looking for a comb. It's a book. No, not catacombs. Catacombs. And down in these ancient catacombs, there is a secret chamber. And in the secret chamber lies the one and only Spazola di Samson. Samson's a hairbrush. She lies safe. But what if somebody finds the catacombs? Nobody can find the catacombs, silly mozzarella. Not without this of my You can see him. Nobody follows me, understand? Especially you, Minnesota fluke. Once again, you lose, worm eater. <laughs> Let me out of the chair. Hey, Figaro. 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 He's gonna get the hairbrush first. I gotta call Martin. Martin? Martin? Hi there, Duke. Well, what's wrong? Uh, did you get a haircut? Never mind that. Where's the park guy? Huh? He was here a second ago. I guess he slipped out. Uh, tell me what's going on. Good, he wouldn't want to hear this anyway. It's bad news, Martin. Would you just tell me already? He was here, Martin. And he's after the brush. Who? Professor Rattan. Okay, now don't panic, Minnesota. Remember, he's a bully. We can deal with him. Just a bully? He's more than that. He's my enemy. Calm down. The Bible says we should love our enemies. Love? Love our enemies? Everybody can't go around all the time trying to get even. That would leave the whole world in a mess. Let's just figure out what to do next. I'll tell you what we're going to do, Martin. I'm going to get that brush first, and I'm going to use its power to defeat all the bullies in the world. I'm going to teach them a lesson they'll never forget. But Minnesota... See in the funny papers, Martin. Where are those catacombs? I'm a glad that you ask. We have a shortcut. Let's go. Too dangerous, Jules. I gotta go alone. Be careful, Kink. Story of Samson. I'm on the right trail. What a guy. What's this all about? <coughs> Samson lost his strength after a haircut? Poor fella.
Makes me a bully too. But it's too late now. I can't do anything. Is that you, Martin? Cute, cute. I've been trying to get a hold of you. You'll never guess. The park guy isn't from New York. He's really working for Professor Rattan, who's been following me this whole time. And I don't think there really is a rogue band of Canadian barrel makers. They made that whole thing up to trick me. Now Rattan can rule the world because he's got all the power. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, cute. And that's what I've been trying to tell you. But the Bible said that Samson's hair was his... The Bible said that God gave Samson his power, not his hair or his hairbrush. But what about the haircut that made him lose his strength? That wasn't about his hair. Samson lost his strength because he didn't keep his promise to God. And the best part is that God gives us strength, too. What? Yep. He gives us an even greater power than Samson's. The power to love our enemies. And be kind to them. This isn't going to be easy. But I know what I gotta do. Ready? You bet. Hold it right there, Rattan. What? How did... Yeah! Stand back! I have a brush and I know how to use it. You think he's crazy enough to try something? You betcha. We call it a cavalry. Yeah, nobody comes to the rescue better than the Royal Canadian Mounties, eh? Get him! Ah, there's nothing you can do against the power of Samson's hairbrush! But it has no power. You know nothing. Of course it has power. Watch! <laughs> it doesn't work. What's wrong? Check the batteries, perhaps? It doesn't have any power. Never has. Why are you taking him away? Well, uh, can't he, uh... He stole a hairbrush. Uh, yeah, he stole a hairbrush, eh? No, he didn't. I traded him for it. You mean... Yep, you can let him go. Now's our chance. Let's go. No, wait. This doesn't make sense. No one has ever been kind to me. Why did you do that? Because God gives us the power to love everybody, even our enemies. Here, he dropped this. I don't think I want it after all. Sure you do. Look, let's use it to cover up that little bald spot you're getting. Ooh, nice. Hey, I'm sorry for everything I've done. 
I think I'm gonna like being friends. What an adventure. And Professor Rattan left to keep the hairbrush after all. Well, he didn't need it since he gave up that whole world domination thing. I'm just glad it all worked out. You know, Cute, I never got to tell you. <coughs> What's that, Jules? I'm real proud of the way you handled that bully. Aw, Julia. <coughs> Moose Lake Children's Museum. Yes? What? It is? Sounds dangerous. Well, let me ask him. Hey, Cuke, think you can find Noah's umbrella? Where's my cap? It's called a fedora. Umbrella. I'm on my way. Catch that umbrella. And now it's time for Silly Songs yes. with Letty. The part of the show where Letty comes out and sings a silly song. Got the munchies on that fateful night about 8 o'clock. Yeah? So I phoned in a pizza for delivery. What? But I had a feeling that something wasn't right, because I waited for hours. Hours? No. But it was the saddest sight I ever saw. I could still smell the sweet aroma of deep dish goodness, but the box it was empty. No. The house number was broken, so I couldn't find you. I was getting kind of hungry, so I ate, ate your pizza. So I'm sorry about that. You don't need to tip me or anything. <laughs> Caleb. <clears throat> oh, and Eli. You know, I think he prefers to be called Eli. 